hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching today i will be making some grinch christmas home decor so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and now let's craft for my first project i will be using one of these large wood ornaments that i got from the dollar tree the first thing i'm going to do is paint this using this green this is from the brand craftsman and it's in the color apple tart i feel like this was the perfect grinch color once i am done i'm going to set it to the side and let it dry meanwhile i'm going to show you how i achieve to get the grinch face without having a printer so what i did is i used my 10 inch tablet i searched for the grinch face which i actually did grinch face drawing once i found the one that was easiest to trace I then put a blank computer paper on top and traced it. As you can see, the face didn't fit in this 10 inch tablet. So what I did is I did the mouth first, then I scrolled it down to do the eyes. So now to transfer this to my sign, I am going to scribble the back with a pencil. Then I'm going to just place it on top of my sign. Now I am going to tape it down so it doesn't move. Then I'm going to start tracing. Once I am done, I'm going to carefully remove the paper and voila, now you have a Grinch face. Hopefully you can see it here, but on my end I can. Using these paints and small tiny brushes, I'm going to now start painting the face. Started off with the smile, which was the easiest. I was switching in between brushes because I needed to find like the smallest one or like the small little crevices to fill in the eyes i did use the apple yellow acrylic paint it was too sheer so then i went over it with the waverly chalk paint in the color maze even though this is lighter once this was dry i then went back with the darker yellow and this is how it turned out so now to finish this off i am going to grab a santa hat which i got this from the dollar tree now i was just going to just put it on like if this was a head and put it on but it wasn't standing up so for in order for it to like stand up a little bit higher i did use some cardboard so tell me why i thought by tracing it the shape i wanted that hat to stand up it was going to be the shape i needed to cut the cardboard which i was totally not the case but i did want to show you that that's what i did first once i was done cutting this i realized that because of this shape the hat wasn't fitting so i did have to go back and trim it down so the cardboard that i picked up was a little bit flimsy it was thin so i just stacked another one right on top to make it more sturdier i then went ahead and glued this behind the grinch face i then added the hat but the cardboard was way too big so i do end up just trimming it a little more but that is it guys the last thing i did is i added a little hanger on the back but that is it look how cute this grinch face sign turned out
For my next project, I will be using this Mary sign. Now, this isn't from Dollar Tree. This is actually from Dollar General. This is bigger than the ones that Dollar Tree carries. But Dollar Tree does carry similar ones to this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all the edges using this uh, Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color Red Flag. I wasn't very careful so some of the back ended up painting so what I did so it didn't look um, too messy I just painted the back too. This is how it looks as you can see I didn't paint the front because I will be adding this beautiful scrapbooking paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. This reminded me of the Grinch so I'm going to just easily trace it trace this and then cut it out then glue it using my Elmer's glue stick. I did take a pen apart so it's easier for me to like trace these little crevices that are like so small. I also want to point out that this sign was too big so I had to do the Y um, separately. I started off by gluing the Y first and then the rest. Honestly, you can't really tell unless you like stare at it. This already looks perfect once I added the scrapbooking paper, but I felt like it needed something now. So I picked up one of these little ornaments from the Dollar Tree, they carry two different colors, this one right here and this one right here, which is darker. I grabbed the darkest one. All I'm going to do is just glue it on the Y. And that is it. Look how cute this sign turned out. For my next project, I will be using a large snowflake, the cardboard one, not the wood one. I'm going to start by just painting mostly all the edges white. I'm going to leave the center blank because I will be adding something else in the middle. And that something else is one of those galvanized ornaments that Dollar Tree is carrying right now. I'm going to just glue it in the center of my snowflake. Honestly, if you can't find the galvanized ornaments, you can just use any wood circle to add in the center. So now I'm going to just glue this here. I did use a lot of hot glue since this is metal. For this next step, I did use my Cricut. I cut out the words stink, stank, and stunk with different colors. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, you can always just go to Hobby Lobby and pick up their poster sticker letters. To decorate this a little more, I just added some greenery at the top of the ornament with a bow.
I made this double bowl using the Dollar Tree To finish this off, I added the little hanger and that is it. Look how beautiful this turned out. For my next project, I will be using one of these Dollar Tree Christmas trees and this wine bag. I will not be using the little stands. I'm going to just set them to the side. Now, honestly, I wasn't going to put this project in this video because my vision was totally different than what I ended up doing. I thought that this tree, I was going to be able to like bend it. So it was going to be like that Christmas tree that is bent down um, on the Grinch movie. But I wasn't able to bend it. So instead, I removed some of the branches at the bottom and I attached them at the top. Like, And the way I attached them was I twist them with the other ones. And instead of making that tree, I ended up making the Grinch so now I'm using a Dollar Tree jar and that little wine bottle back which I am going to remove the little hat and the belt Then I'm going to turn this inside out and I am going to cut like a little hole at the top. Um, I only cut it a little bit and actually ended up um, just spreading and being like a bigger hole. But what I did is I folded this in half and then like I put it in there. Hopefully you can see what I'm making now. It's hard for me to explain. But this is going to be like the hand of the Grinch. Then I'm going to just glue the tree inside. Now, in order for it not to move, I just added some foam around it. I then added some of these picks. Now, these are 98 cents. I got them from Walmart. Look how beautiful they are. They're like the green color theme. Now... I am going to use a Dollar Tree red ornament, which I'm going to add to the tip of like the fingers. And that is it. Look how cute this arrangement turned out. And that is it for today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comment section which was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.